Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer World. So, now is the time we must make a decision. Last time, Parvati talked to us at the very end of the last episode in determining who we should divert geothermal energy electricity to. So, Master Control Terminal, Plant Status. Master Control Terminal, da da da, 22% efficiency, being distributed to Edgewater Saltuna Cannery, as well as the Botanical Laboratory. Redirect power, let's see, you sure you want to continue? It's an irreversible procedure. And, you know, I said in the last episode that I wanted to give it to Edgewater just because I thought that they really haven't done anything bad to me, and they might be able to help me. Botanical Laboratory? They just kind of exist. Like, they they make do with whatever they have, so if they lose electricity, they'll make do without it, you know? So let's go to Edgewater. Oh. Um, now comes the power. Nice. Looks like it's online. What does that say? Botanic oh, the Botanical Lab no longer has it, and then Edgewater. Cool. Retrieve the power regulator. Spacer's choice are now revering. Convince the deserters to leave. Oh, to return. Oh, let's see what Parvati has to say. I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they didn't care much for me. Oh, perception. Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. Well, at least he's not a love dog, for now. Hmm. Yeah, let's do number one. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. All right. Anything else, maybe? In the bar, when I asked if you were a drinker. Sorry, I know it's none of my business. Um. Yeah. Strong drink makes me sick, and it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't, and then, well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. All right, I'm happy to listen. Don't apologize. Oh, that's what I do. You'll tire of it soon enough. All right, let's leave. So I wanted to see if I could push how far I can make the dialogue go with her, just see, you know, how far she would open up no matter how much I pressed. But, you know, whatever. Um, Yeah, last time we went through... Yeah, this is the entrance here. Oh, I missed this. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Maybe there's more robots. And we have a Manta Queen examined. It looks like we have some holes on the left and some eggs on the right. Ooh. Hello. Actually, this might be a good place to check our inventory real quick. See if we can scrap anything. Scrap. Manage our inventory. We'll get no more weapons, which is fine. Actually, we've got a lot of ammo. I like that. Yep. I'm also joined here by my cat named Binky. He's sitting on the chair right next to me, so. Um, yeah, I could probably get rid of some of this stuff. We're going to scrap something. Eight, three, thirteen. So, we are going to break that down. Thank you. Hmm, four, thirteen. I'm going to sell both these. Anything else? Nope, let's go and sell, sell those two things. Oh. Am I currently using these? Well... We will sell... Oh, no. I don't need to sell. No, yeah, I need to sell. That's selling stuff. Yeah, let's sell, and then we will sell. Cool. Let's see. Adelaide. Actually, we could probably just fast travel over there, can't we? If they still kind of like us. Probably don't. Oh, well. Faux windows. Order now. As beauty and verisimilitude to your frontier home. Oh, now these people are probably going to be pissed off at me. Actually, before I do that, I want to see Parvati. Oh, Companion Ledger. Shows you everything that you need to know about your companions. 
Change your companion's gear, select the item you want to swap out, and then choose a compatible item. Choose how they behave in combat. Oh, she's got a melee weapon too, nice. Um, do you have any armor? You need a helmet. I should not have sold that helmet. Um, what is this? Oh, perks! It costs one perk point. I don't have any available. She needs to level up. More health. Threat generated. Huh. And more engineering. I like the engineering thing. And then this is behaviors medium, mixed. Um, I would prefer you if you mostly used just ranged for now. Aggressive. Um, once told to attack a target, the companion continues to fight until combat is over. Always engages and attacks when the player enters combat. Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. All right, for some reason my escape button wasn't working. Wait, I wanted to see if how people liked me or not. There was a codex. Was it codex? No. Inventory? No. Oh, was it? Hmm. Character? Not just a character. Journal. Quests. Map. Yeah, I thought there was a way I could see my st standing faction with everyone. Oh well. Food's bound to spoil at this rate. Oh, it's not good. All right, well. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? This isn't personal, Adelaide. I need your power regulator. Um, Reed needs his people back. I just need a power regulator. You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Hmm, I'm willing to deal with Reed for you being unreasonable come back to Edgewater what happened to you yeah let's understand a little bit more my son worked in that cannery when the plague started coming he was one of the first to fall sick we had a store of medicine locked away but Reed refused to treat him said my boy didn't deserve treatment said the medicine would have been wasted on him so I buried my boy in the cemetery Gathered my belongings and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Um, let's deal with Reed. Let's see what happens. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. He isn't going to leave just his post. He needs some help convincing him. That'd probably be a good idea to do that. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. Whoa. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Wait, so you're pissed off that I'm doing that, like, diverting power away, but you're grinding up dead human bodies. All right, well, whatever. Um, what happens when you run out of corpses? 
Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. Alright, cool. Let's go talk to the other people, and if they want to attack me, we gotta make sure that we are, uh, prepared. And you might see me die if they attack me. But I'm not gonna be too angry right now. Alright, let's see if we talk to the pissed off people. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. Question about Zoe. It's time to go back to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. I love her hat. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the cannery. All right. And how about you? Let's see. Was it Thomas? Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault. The power. <laughs> we can blame him. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. So don't work at the cannery. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. Alright, and then, uh, why's that? Or, you know what, let's say, I'm gonna try to talk Reed into stepping down. You know where to find me. Alright, well, I guess he didn't want to kill me. Not yet. So, let's go ahead and make our peace with good old Mr. Boo Boo. Oh wait, is that my ship? Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go to Edgewater. Dissenters in our midst. Philosophy. Philosophy. Huh. Ah, oh, good old Edgewater. Edgewater, Edgewater, Edgewater. Wow, is this... Is this a little different? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't remember them being a second floor here. But alright. Let's see, is Abernathy in there still? Yeah. Does he have anything? Like a good hit of anthracillin. Feels like warm, liquid sunlight running through your veins. Alright, well, I guess not. He doesn't change much. Let me see. Do you have anything to steal? Like, I didn't steal anything from you last time. Did you know I stole stuff? Awesome. Then you won't be missing this. Every time I want to steal stuff, I just feel like I have to crouch. Mm, no, all right. Yeah, you, you're kind of poor. That's okay, though. All right, thank you very much. I will see myself out. Workbench. We did find a few more mods. Oh, we can go in here. magic happens. Well, science, but it still happens. I forgot to check this building out. Don't have enough for to do that. Oh, no, ah, it's not even stealing or permanently borrowing and never giving back. Anything? No, a lot of junk. I love bread. I mean, uh, unless it's Parvati's place. Is this Parvati's place? Because I don't, I don't want to steal from Parvati. Free slice bread. My dad's. It's an oh, this is this is Just Parvati's not. place. Open last search. All right. From the Endumati. Is this supposed to be like the Illuminati? Ooh, the, the other guide. Right? Is that the other guide? No. Okay. Well, I don't think Parvati will really mind if we do this, since we're going to share stuff anyways, right? You're my companion, and you're going to be with me for a while. That was quick. Nice. Once you're my partner, you're gonna stay that way forever. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh, you like flowers? I can't find many kinds around here. The flowers ain't bad. I didn't realize this was Parvati's. Go oh. way well, you can join me in here. I don't mind. <laughs> oh, it's kind of nice. 
That's alright. I'm not gonna break my legs. So let's go to the workbench. And we're right here. Cool. Oh wait, what is that? Toss ball blocker. Blocks the ball. Occasionally inflicts blunt force trauma. That's very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and I like this gun. The plasma rifle was very, very good to us. But how about this? The assault rifle. Can we install? It's already installed. Nothing else? How about this? It's already installed. We didn't find too much else, I guess. Um, shotgun? Nope. Arm? Oh, armor. Do we find anything else? I didn't think so. A tinker, repair. Cost of six parts. Break down. I could. Uh, one headed melee. You know what? Let's go to our inventory. All I have is uh, firearms. Oh. Well, I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna put you over here. Eh, I'm also break it down. I don't really care. Cool. Well, let's do the deed. And you get up there. All right then. Oh wait. Um. Oh, let's go outside and talk to Grace and them and whatnot. All right. Well, let's go up there. Let's see what Reed says. Just in case, I got my rifle. With 36 rounds instead of 24. Taste the freedom. I hope my uh, speech and uh, my dialogue skills is high enough. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their post? Hmm. I've not convinced her. I want to talk to you about something else. Let's start with that. Go ahead. Have you taken a look around your town lately? It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. All right, how long has he worked here? I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change. People change. But the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. All right. Loyalty. This is a Spacer's choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it, friend. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. All right, the town is falling to pieces. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Yes, as a matter of fact. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. All right, well, I thought that could maybe... Go ahead. Learn more about him and see where we could go from that. What makes you think I can convince these deserters to come back? Pretty fixed. Let's bring a word about this plague. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. Alright, um. Show up to work, put in your hours, wear a smile. Problems of the body come from problems of the spirit. Work improves the spirit and fortifies the body. All right, well, how about medical? You know what else fortifies the body against disease? Antibiotics. And where do you suggest we find this magical panacea? Nice. Can we pan for medicine in the stream? Medicine is a rare and precious commodity. If you demonstrate you have earned the right to be treated, you will be treated. Otherwise, you must heal yourself. Hmm. How long has it been happening? That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. 
But in the last 10 years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. Oh, even more medical. Developed an immunity after repeated exposure. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. All right, um, withholding medicine. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would, but I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. Uh, let's not bring up Adelaide just for now. It is not easy for me. And the moment it becomes easy is the moment I am no longer fit to serve. Spacer's choice is a family. And the survival of the family is more important than the survival of the individual. You know, that's... that's, uh... He's not necessarily wrong. I mean, I mean to be honest here, he's really not necessarily wrong. I mean, do you help those, like, help like ten people versus one? I mean, you gotta balance things out. Go ahead. Alright. Um, convince the deserters. I think I did that but one. You are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. Alright, well, let's see. Don't blame yourself. We're gonna make, it, make him try to feel good, even though it's a video game. I must. The burden of leadership is responsibility. If my workers walked out on Edgewater, then I have failed them. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost even more to play. But it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. Perception? You have a personal history? Ooh! Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only flavor specialist. When she walked away, I knew we were in trouble. Spacer's Choice Saltuna is renowned across the system for its quality flavors and additives. We used to sell citrus-flavored Saltuna in our heyday. Ever since Adelaide left, we have been reduced to selling unflavored and spearmint. Not spearmint? No! Go ahead. Alright. Um, pretty fixed on bringing her back. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a cysty pig without tumors. Borderline inedible. All right. Is that all you eat? Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us. Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. So, what are, um, what are they canning here then? Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of salt tuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palate. Um... So, what was I supposed to do? Like, I couldn't convince him. Hold on. What's in the quest? Uh, journal. Codex. Now comes the power. Convince the deserters to return. Oh, it's only to do that. Speak to Grace or Thomas. He wants to move back to Edgewater. Remove Reed from Edgewater. Hmm. I do need to get the power regulator. Let me go back and see if I can talk to him one more time. I appreciate what you've done for us. She won't come back as long as you're here. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have done my best for this town. All right. Terrified you let Adelaide's son die. Let's not make this personal. A change in leadership might be what this town needs. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned-up freelancer, but it is my home. All right, attack. They aren't getting sick with a plague. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. 
Of course you're gonna get sick. You are disparaging our parent company, and it is not appreciated. We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. But you only have unflavored and spearmint. You need Adelaide's garden. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us, so the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. No oh, persuasion. I love it. She found a way to grow food. She'll come back if you step down. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Lie. Look, Reed, all I know is that involves some really complicated math. Yeah, I don't want to be honest about human corpses. Um, yeah. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, then she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. Wow. My life here is ended. Wow. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. Wow, Th that was like a change of heart really quickly. I love dialogue options. Are you <laughs> you don't have to do this, you know. This can't be easy. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Well, what are your plans? A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. Uh, why not? No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. Um, let's see what happens when you don't, you won't last a day outside the walls. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. Can you become a companion? All right. Oh, companion perks leveled up and granted a new perk. Well then. This worked out, I guess, a little bit better for everyone. Let's go ahead and put some perks in. So we got 10 points available. Um, I do want to get my Lie and Intimidate up to level 50 at least. So, and I'll probably do more Persuasion as well. So let's do this. We only have one left. Um, yeah, get up to at least level 50 before we do anything else. I really like the tech stuff as well as stealth, especially since we have taken a little bit of a penalty to our stealth. Is there anything that can give me a next upgrade immediately? Does it look like it? Guns. If I do this, I love this stuff, but stealth, sneak. I do want to do more lock picking and hacking. That might be good for us to do, so I can get access unrestricted or access restricted items in the vending machines, and find more bits in containers as well as a little bit better sneak. Thank you. All right, and we don't have another perk. No, we already have two. We already have more health, as well as uh, recharge rate. Parvati. Oh, my woman of the year so far. Uh, more health. Eh, that's okay. Threat generated. Decrease the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies, making them less likely to attack this companion. Or I can do more likely to attack this companion. Oh, that goes... I didn't recognize that the we had the uh, symbol down. Do I want them to attack Parvati more? I want more engineering. Yes. Thank you. I love a good engineering woman. Um, actually, I don't even go... Um, you know what? Let's go down the elevator. Just because I want to talk to Parvati first, and then we'll talk to Adelaide. Alright. Alright. Something you need? Oh. Oh, okay, maybe not. Let's go to the map. Let's go to the region and then come up to here. Yeah. Ah, order yours today. Spacer's choice. Do you need a license to carry a firearm? Maybe if you're with the company, probably. All right, then. Let's talk to Adelaide and resolve ourselves. We do need to grab the power uh, regulator, though. Look at that. The snakes come back. Psst, yes, I have. All right, come back. I never thought I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his post. Me too. 
Suppose we all have a breaking point. Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town and carry on with our lives wow. as best we may. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. Oh, that's not good, the board. Hmm. Guess I'm just trying to set stuff straight. I gotta watch. You telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. You bet I am. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. All right, take care. See you in the manager's position for a while, and I will take this. Thank you very much. And now I can go ahead and escape. But let's see if we can talk to Thomas and Grace, the woman what with happened? the amazing hat. Strat fell into a transformer. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. Wait, why is that? Didn't think she'd go back so long as Reed was I still running that. the place. Something must have changed. If Adelaide's going back to Edgewater, we'll follow her. If I kill her, can I have the hat? I still need to find Zoe, but... Oh! I was on fire. I'm glad Adelaide's coming back to town with us. With Reed gone, we're gonna need her leadership. Alright, well, you're boring. Awesome. Um... The unreliable. Well, let's go ahead and get back to the old unreliable. And then... We'll call it an episode. Canids examined. Oh my goodness. The innards of an animal. Oh. Alright, let's go inside. And have a good time. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh. Gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. All right. Well, I can understand not wanting to go back. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? All right. Um, why would you want to go into space with a stranger? Oh, yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, Mister. Wait. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Yeah. <laughs> I got a captain. I think I'm Captain Hawthorne. Actually, let's not go inside yet. We might want to finish off some of the missions on this planet for now. But anyways, that's all the time for that we have today. We have resolved the crisis between the Botanical Laboratories as well as Edgewater. We have gotten rid of Mr. Thompson, who in the end didn't seem like an extremely terrible person because he had to make difficult decisions. But anyways, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all tomorrow. And I hope you all have a tremendous, tremendous day.